Welcome back to Undoogieville, and we're going to be uh, breaking shit again. Actually, we're going to be jumping all over the place, doing all kinds of stuff. So yes, haven't quite finished on the breaking front, um, because this is horrible, isn't it? Yeah. Um, anyway, you'll notice that these, these um, what do they call them? Banjo clips, attachments, things. Anyway, the brake thing. Um, has a slight little kink in it there. Yeah, and you can get them straight and you can get them at 90 degrees and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, these have got like a, uh, I don't know, 45 degree maybe. Um, and uh, of course that makes a big difference to the way the cable lies. So on the other one, well here I've got it coming out because I want it that way. Whereas this one, I actually angled in towards the fitting, um, which produced that lovely kind of curve. And then uh, same down here, as you can see, it's not straight, so it's angled in towards the caliper. Whereas on this side, I angled it out. And I have to say that was a bit to get on. Uh, I had to use some uh, long nose vice grips to, uh, to hold it while I lined up the bolt. So I'm going to have to take it off try again. It's a question of finding the right combination of angles to produce the nice cable flow, really. So yeah, those boys are just clamping on to the very end of it so I could actually hold it in position whilst I've got the little 12 wheel socket on there. And you can see already, yeah, lovely. Comes in and out a little bit, and yeah. Job done. It's all gone a bit haywire up here, admittedly, but um, we'll sort that out when we come to it. Um, none of this is tight, and we can tighten it all up and get it out of the way, get it where we want it. Anyway, it's going to be behind our fancy light from Australia. Mm. So, I mangled that one up a little bit. Uh, I got some aluminum sheet um, from my buddy Rick, although he doesn't know that because he's in Colombia. Uh, anyway. Uh, I've also brought back some of my old graphics tools from uh, from the office because I'm not using them in the office, and um, they're very handy for uh, drawing these kind of curves and things, and obviously right angles and other angles. So yeah, good old-fashioned tools. And as you saw, I'm still using my uh, paper template wherever it's gone there somewhere. Um, but obviously we're going to measure this lot out. Old and new technology all coming into play and uh, drawing up nicely. Yes indeed, I used to do graphics when uh, cut and paste actually involved glue and scalpels. All drawn up, ready to go. Oh, did anyone notice the manual in the back of the shop? Yeah, I've been reading up about the um, starter motor. I bought this because I thought I'd fill it up with oil um, and then I remembered we need to sort the start motor out before we do that really probably mainly possibly anyway yeah Yamalube used it on the Yamaha obviously I know it's a Honda but it's got a Suzuki front end and I thought we'd use some Yamalube just need a Kawasaki element then we've got a full house Yes, faithful Black & Decker jigsaw and a little bit generous on that curve because uh, we can always uh, whirly-gig it down. Um, faithful workbench, yes, uh, with a clamping device. Mm -hmm. I don't know what gauge this is, but it's just kind of perfect. It's just got, it's got some flex, but it, it won't bend easily. I mean, it won't crease easily. Perfect. I don't know, what is it? Having measured it all up nicely and cut it out quite nicely, I think you'll agree. Uh, we're going to be using this to get exactly the right holes in the right place. We'll probably drill a little pilot hole with a very small drill and then take it up to whatever diameter we want with one of those step drills. One of those boys. Now for the big guns. 
started with the medium sized guns actually uh, which is plenty for these two holes uh, so they're done lovely jubbly obviously needs a little finishing off but uh, a lot better than prototype one oh wait that was prototype one or two or I don't know I've lost count yeah, anyway there you go kill uh, the reason I like the idea of the plastic because it had the same kind of flexibility as this gauge except it was thicker right so before I go any further with this I think I need to investigate that stuff from Home Depot yeah carrying on regardless uh, with my aluminum sheet and um, I'm not sure if this is a technique or not but as you can see I've cut out three now I haven't drilled the other two yet but to maintain some kind of consistency in the curve um, after the cut I've actually taped them together with a bit of Gorilla Tape and um, put them on the whirly gig next well that wasn't a half bad idea actually um, yeah kind of works so um, I'm going to leave it for now tidy up each one individually let's drill some holes well there we have it uh, I don't think this is going to be an end product I think you know, despite measuring and everything else it just doesn't I don't know how I'm going to finish off this edge probably the aforementioned um, flatbed sander thing um, but you know nothing beats computer stuff so um, anyway I'm, I'm going to put it together I'm not going to spend too much more time tidying it up I'm not even going to bother with the belt sander uh, at this stage just going to see what it looks like honestly see whether it's actually worth pursuing and actually spending the money on getting it cut properly if at all right Still reading, slow reader. Well, that's the general idea, right there. Uh, more real than before, I suppose, because it's out of metal. I kind of like it. I do, I do, I, I like it. Well, we got ourselves a headlight. Yeah, all the way from uh, China, not Australia. Um, yeah, kind of cool. So, I suppose we should have a look at fitting it, really, shouldn't we? Uh, it's going to be complicated with all that clover. Yeah, it's tight. I've moved them up to a kind of traditional headlamp kind of position I suppose and obviously they're fouling on all this stuff which still needs to be sorted out in terms of where exactly it's going to fit and uh, what I'm thinking is we might turn this whole operation round so it comes out forwards uh, whatever we'll we'll work that out but at this stage it's just really a question of uh, aesthetics really I mean that probably looks nicest oh. See, that would be, it would stick out a lot unless we found a way of mounting it closer. And then, of course, if we did that and had it lower, which I kind of like, uh, all that clobber is going to be visible. Although we can always use one of our favourite little number plate things to hide all that up. Well, there it is in the lower position. Which I kind of like. And there it is in the higher position. Which I don't like so much. Especially from the front. It's kind of level. Yeah, that's too high for sure. Alright, so I think we can go to the bottom. In which case the brakes won't be a problem. What is a problem is I had to put these temporary spaces in um, to get it to fit with those mounts and this is just spinning round and round now so um, yeah I have to get
get inside and see what's broken inside already. Yeah, so that took all of two minutes to break. Um, no worries, we'll just have to put one of our favourite little pot rivet things in. Rivet nuts. So we're going to be doing both of them because chances are the other one will go as well. And we're going to use M6 rivet nuts uh, because uh, A, I've got the appropriate length bolt uh, matching and B, uh, because I can. And um, yeah, you might remember that the appropriate size drill for those little rivet guys is 23 64 well, unfortunately, the existing hole is uh, ready for an M8 piece, uh, so we're going to have to go large. Job done. Nice. All right, that's that sorted. Lovely. Well, while we've got the drill out, I've decided I am going to finish these off and just see what it looks like, honestly. So um, I've punched a hole here and... Um, somewhere else I think no yeah so that's the bottom piece and then here's the corresponding hole on the middle piece um, ready for this here spacer which is ginormous obviously because it's for suspension so that takes a 12 mil bolt um, but I'm only going to put a six in it it doesn't matter it's just gonna join the two together and then we've got another one down here which marries up with the top plate here yeah. so I'm going to drill those out and hopefully get them in place for next time so as always thanks for watching uh, do make sure you subscribe down here uh, so you get the next update and uh, give it the video the thumbs up if you got this far you must like it right and of course encourage others to watch my lunacy